Namaste kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Uh, before we hop in, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is going to be for Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, Rhinus, Rhinus. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, wherever you may have Aries in your chart. Um, Aries, uh, for your download, I got you. You're leaning into your opposite sign, Libra, and you're feeling like disappearing. But your Mars energy just won't let you. This could be for mental clarity or you're currently in recovery, either from like a surgery um work a heartbreak you're recovering from something that really took a toll toll on you and you may be feeling like you want to just go in hiding all right and you might be feeling a struggle with doing that because you're you know you can be an extrovert and outgoing and very active okay um i am hearing uh taking your vitamins drinking plenty of water um, getting plenty of sunlight and things of that nature for some of you, all right? So let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminine, Aries, Holy Spirit, energy for Divine Feminine. All right, we have the Temperance here. All right, so some of you guys could be coming in like a reconciliation with someone or coming out of separation. Um, or you're somebody's wanting to reconcile with you could be a Sagittarius um, I also see here finding a healthy balance in your life all right yeah we have a full card there you are yeah you're trying to find a happy medium in regards to taking a leap of faith on something new something you haven't done before something you kind of been contemplating or wondering if you should go ahead and take the leap of faith on it all right um you should your energy is here strong some of you guys could be aries sun sagittarius moon or vice versa all right what's going on with divine masculine aries divine masculine aries please so you guys are quiet divine masculine uh, and remember when we say divine masculine divine feminine this is energy and not uh, gender all right so there's the four of swords which is kind of what i was talking about you're in some type of recovery all right um i'm hearing take it easy all right some of you may be feeling overwhelmed if you're in the divine masculine energy you're feeling overwhelmed overworked over exerted relax I'm also here to relax your mind. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could be coming in union with the Earth sign or a Water sign, or some of you are needing to reach out to like your mother or mother figure, um, somebody who holds a very strong feminine energy in your life. Okay, whoever you're needing to connect with, they. Um, They're very significant to you in regards to balancing your masculinity, I'm hearing. Clarify the temperance. Um, I'm also seeing uh, with the two of cups, divine feminine and divine masculine could be coming into union. Oh, yes. We have the four of wands here, most definitely. So some of you guys could be coming in union with your divine counterpart especially with the temperance here that's that reconciliation all right after a long uh, awaited separation we have the ace of swords here all right somebody is gaining clarity over this connection or this is you aries feminine um you could be having a lot of downloads or having a lot of dreams in regards to um in regards to things being harmonious and blissful, I ha I'm hearing you may have a lot of chaos going on around you right now and you just want serendipity. You just want peace. I feel like you need to go within to find that. Meditate. Pray. Go within. Why is the full card here? 
yeah we have the world card putting it into the way you used to do things to find your peace some of you guys probably used to look to external things to center yourself or find peace or um be okay with certain situations going on around you all right with the full card and the ace of swords with the temperance it's time for you to try something new something different something you've never done all right i'm even hearing a new religion or maybe you guys are looking into that what's going on with four of swords for divine masculine four of swords please the moon card hmm. something may be being revealed to you or something that you thought was going to be kept under wraps for as long as you wanted it to be for as long as you wanted to be maybe being revealed could be by a pisces or a cancer here um you're deciding to lay low or you're trying to duck off on a situation before it hits the fan all right this could have something to do with an earth sign why is the queen of pentacles here Some, some of you, um, a feminine energy could be putting a baby on you or saying that they're pregnant, but it may come out that they are not. Um, I don't think that they were lying to you. I think that they just were unsure and they may have spoke up on something prematurely. Um, or it could have just simply been a lie. And, you know, you know, you know your story or, yeah. We have the two of wands here for the queen of pentacles. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles, this feminine energy is somebody you definitely want to sow a seed in or somebody who you may be co-creating with in regards to moving forward with your finances or commitment to something. Could be to a, rela could be to a relationship, could be into some type of financial endeavor, but you are going to be coming into contact with someone that you may be starting something new with, a new endeavor here. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands giving me the Three of Wands here. So this is something that you're waiting for to come in. What's going on with love? For Aries, collectively, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What's going on with Aries? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, Aries. So... It is safe for you to love at this time, or some of you are finding it hard to believe. All right, we have past life relationship. You have known this person before. Didn't I tell you a reconciliation was coming here? A divine feminine, divine masculine union. This this person you've known before. You've been with in your past life. We have passion that came out in reverse. We have flirt and we have honeymoon here beautiful energy you could be doing some light flirting at this time um aries with your person yeah two two of cups four of cups this is very significant i'm sorry i'm sorry two of cups four of wands there's a lot of passion here with you and this person this this is very significant what is this four of wands two of cups a, a divine union is definitely coming into you to connection um, if you don't know this person, this could be somebody new. Like I said, it could be a water sign or another fire sign. Why is the four of wands with the two of cups here? Allow your heart to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Strength card and the five of cups. Yeah. Some of you guys were unsure if it was safe for you to love. You could have been hurt by a Leo or a Leo could have made you feel some type of way in regards to love or a leo is coming in to help regain your strength put some fire under your ass i'm hearing all right this person that's coming in they're they're bringing a lot of energy and i feel like it's in hopes to get you out of this energy and more into this four of wands energy a celebratory uh energy yeah, so that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you liked it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I share.